Good morning, YouTube. Now, we actually do have, well done, the Clio behind us. And I know that a lot of people have been waiting for, to see the weight video. Truth is, I've actually been waiting for a part, uh, which I really did need. So, I'm like, so good. Every time I jump in, I'm, I'm not as fit as I used to be, Lance. Fucking hell. I've only jumped in, though. I'm already fucking passing out. Last episode, you seen that we stripped the Clio. I don't want to say totally, because there is some more weight. I can take out of this car, but for today's episode, I'm just gonna put this final thing in, which is, is actually really important. So first of all, we're gonna put that in, then we're gonna explain some of the things that I may or may not take out, and the reason I'm not taking them out in this video is because I'm getting more parts, which is just gonna replace those things, so it's kinda gonna equal out. So I feel like a good baseline to measure how much weight you can easily take out of a car. Uh, would be after we've put these new things in. And these new things are obviously bucket seats. So the seats in that Clio weigh absolute tons. So these are stupidly light. Like these are like really light seats. They actually came out of a Porsche 911 track car. I don't actually know the brand. There isn't a branding on them. They said they've been used quite well. <laughs> um, so, and they're stupidly light. So as you can see, so we're gonna be putting these in today. I've been waiting, I've actually had these for a long time, but I've been waiting for the most important part when it comes to bucket seats, which I'm gonna get now. Now, I'm not like a huge bucket seat guy. I haven't really fitted bucket seats. I don't think I've ever fitted bucket seats properly to a car. I, uh, I, I get on it on the IS200, but I don't really know what to do. These side mounts, base mounts, all this kind of shit, and they're all like fucking stupid money, so. I wanted something dead easy to do it, so I've got these from Wheeler Motorsport and they're basically just direct fit, so they're designed to just go straight onto the floor and they go straight into the side of the seats and that's it. There's no side mounts and floor brackets and all that shit, you literally just put these to the floor, to the seat, simple as that and then you get some, um, these are mounts here which basically strengthen up and they're actually designed to use the original bolts out the seat as well, so it's all pretty easy. My only problem is these seats did not come with the bolts to go in the side. Not really a big deal. I've got a load of bolts in the back. I'm sure I'll find the right size. If I need to go next door and get some, I can go next door and get some. But let's stop talking. Let's get on with it. These were a lifesaver from Wheeler Motorsport, so check them out if you're in the same situation as me. They actually do tons of other things for uh, especially Renaults. I've actually got some uh, steering column lowering kit upstairs, which you sent me as well, but I'm not gonna be doing that in this video because this is just about the weight. So here are the seats now. Here are the bolts at the side. I actually don't have them bolts, so let's get our two bolts out and see if we can find, I mean, if we can find four bolts which perfectly match, then perfect. But if not, I might have to just go and get some, but at least we can get, you know, the correct size. Last thing I want to do is take these seats out and be in a situation where I've got to put them back in to drive somewhere to get some fucking bolts. So I found these bolts in the toolbox. Um, I've got eight of them and they look perfect. So they're the right thread. They're a little bit long to just go straight into the seat. But once we're going through the bracket, um, I'm going to put a washer on there as well. Um, they, I think they're going to be perfect. So good find, good find. Yep, so that looks good to me. I've just test fitted in there. I don't know if that is the correct place to go. I, I think I like sitting quite low. So I might put it, I've got it almost in the bottom one. I might test fit them on that one. Uh, but let's get the seat out first because these are pretty much ready to go in. Hmm, very cool, very nice. I like it. Right, we need to start pulling these seats out. I'm not going to show you how you do it because we did it in the last episode. I think the thing is, is I actually do have a harness bar out there, but I do not have a harness for the time being. So I'm going to leave the harness bar out. I'm just going to use the original seat belt. So when we take the harness, when we put the harness back in and do all the other bits, then we're going to be taking the seat belt out. Uh, and things like that. And we've got other things that we need to change. So it's kind of going to counteract itself on the weight. So like for now, as, as like an experiment, I feel like it would just be good to just do it with the original seat belts. I'm hoping that the original seat belt will bolt onto that seat. I'm hoping. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're heavy. Oh. Just go in like that. And there, boom, lined up, lined up. Right line now. Lado. And then back in and we have a seat. So we just need to now just figure out oh is it so much lower? What sort of seat position we want? I actually like to sit quite close. So I think something like it, this is quite a nice height actually. I've done well with the height. It's not too low, it's not too high. Probably could go a little bit high to be fair, but I like, so I like sitting low in cars feel well sport here. Yeah, so I think probably like there. Okay, so success, we've managed to get this onto here. As I said, this is just temporary to get the to get it weighed today. I'm gonna to order a harness, we're gonna put the harness bar in one of the next videos. So uh, this bit had like a curved bit, so I've just hammered it, put it flat with a hammer, and then that allows us to at least not die if we crash. Um, there is a plug in here, 
um, but it goes to like a whole harness in the side of the seat um, and it's going to be a little bit awkward to try and run it back to the correct place in the harness I have no idea which way is and as it's temporary I'm just going to have the seatbelt light on hopefully it just doesn't keep fucking flashing at me uh, we'll have to just cross that when we come to it I probably could just splice some wires into there if it does because I'm sure I could trace it back and I'll just splice the wires into the correct one just leave it there and that'll just at least stop it you know from beeping at me but we'll see first but that's pretty much it. I'm going to tighten all these up now and put it in yes let's actually supply these uh, these go between the bolts and the floor and the brackets uh, just to as you say spread the load go on top like that oh yeah that'll be it and then it will spread the load against the holes makes sense Duh. and it's literally as easy as that everything's just a bit loose i just wanted to make sure it's all going to be lined up before i tighten it all so everything is just loose at the minute so i'm just going to do one last seat make sure we're all good it's going to wiggle about a little bit but it should be okay oh yeah oh we don't beef me i'd much rather just leave that wire but if we have to do it, we have to do it. But now I know why they have the steering column lowering kit. Can't wait to fly around this on the way home. That's the one because I've got terrible tyres on and they need changing. Right, the seats are in nice and tight. I should have really put this one on this side because this one's like obviously the one that the driver's been in because it's a little bit worn. But ah, fuck it, may as well. I may as well keep one, one nice and clean and the other one, the driving one. But that is everything we wanted to do. There are still some things. So these put the damn track car door cards on here. I've just not had time uh, on there. And that's pretty much about it. Now we can do a little bit more. So apparently there's like a rear, there's a little bit of metal in the engine bay which you can take out. And there's like a bash bar on the back of the bumper. Now I don't want to go too insane. Uh, apparently there's some shit you can take off in here as well. I've got some more bits and bobs coming, but as you say, the bits and bobs that are coming are going to re be replacing parts. So they're going to be the same way. A example, would be a steering wheel like the boss but the boss kits are quite heavy and the wheel that probably adds up to the same as the airbag in there so yeah i think that we should just take this down obviously all you guys want to know how much it's it's uh, it's it weighs i'm intrigued yeah let's go and weigh it i'm so excited to see how much it is we've got bets in the office of what it's going to be so let's go and weigh it so good news everybody it's not beeping it's not oh there's my fly screwdriver <laughs> Mate, these seats are not comfortable. I've been driving for two minutes. These seats are not comfortable, I repeat. Oh my God, honestly, the difference all these things have made to this car. Seriously, like, even everything, like the sprint booster, I just put it on then to race, and it literally, everything just ties together so well with it. The seats now, oh my God, it's so much fun. And I don't know whether it's just a bit of a placebo effect, but it's fucking fast. Honestly, like, obviously, like, I, it's not, not like, I can't explain it. It, it. it is fast. It almost feels like I am going faster than the C63. No joke. It is so fucking... Probably because you've got such an experience and you're so low and it's just so loud. And that sprint boost makes it so responsive. I've still got a little bit of a splat spot, but it is fast. Like, it's not a slow car. It's definitely faster, 100%, 100%. Alright, so here we are, just going to the little farm. So the Weybridge is literally just on the side bit of the concrete there. So um, we're going to put it on. Well, I'm going to speak some first, make sure it's all good. Put it on and let's see what we get. Right, so I've got the paperwork in front of me. You will not believe this. We're all our guesses in the office. I got it exactly right to the kilo. And um, last time I said that I we'd want to say I wanted to save 100 kilos. So the first way I've got I've got the I've got the paper here. The first way was 1240. The second way it was exactly what I guess he got exactly 100 kilos. Uh, it is now 1140. 1140. So just just to prove I'm not bullshitting. Um, 1140. The 1240 for the second way 1140. So we saved a hundred. 100 kilograms so um wow I, I literally couldn't have got more spot on uh, 100 kilos just from taking some shit out inside and changing some sheets that's crazy so we're going to drive back and we're going to work out as i said when we first did it we're going to work out how much horsepower we have gained uh using horsepower per ton a lot of people didn't understand how you could gain horsepower from taking weight i meant horsepower per ton so no way 100 kilos and the thing is we can still get more 
out of that that's just an easy base one by changing some seats and taking some shit out inside the car we could still probably get another 50 kilos out easily if we wanted to i reckon let's head back to the office and tell the boys and uh, let's do our some mathematics when we get there okay guys so we're back at the office let's do some quick mathematics okay so we're gonna go on so before we had let's let's just say we do have 197 horsepower and before it was 1240 so that is 158 87 horsepower per ton so 159 horsepower per ton so now we're gonna redo the weight at 1150 1140 sorry now we have 173 horsepower per ton we have basically gained about 20 horsepower, that'd be not, probably like, yeah, almost, well, almost, maybe like 15. <laughs> but still, it's a big difference when we spent fuck all money, well, we spent money on the seats and, and stuff, but we needed them anyway, otherwise we'd be fucking floating all over the show. And speaking of the seats, so that's what we've done, we now have 173 horsepower per ton instead of 158, which is awesome. But speaking of the seats, they were so uncomfortable driving, I need to tilt them. Uh, and I need to bring them back a little bit because my legs like are super close. Uh, I have put them purposely close because the girlfriend is going to be driving it on track and she's a bit shorter than me, but she's not that much shorter than me, so I think I can go back a little bit further. So let's just redo these seats. It's a bit annoying we got to do it, but let's just fucking do it. And we're just going to take this one out, lift it up, and then put it in the bottom one. Just so I, it's because at the minute, like my leg, it's just it's just not comfortable. It's too straight. So we just need to tilt it back a little bit. So let's move it back and then tilt it. it shouldn't be too difficult to be honest. Actually, since I've just tilted it up, it's kind of pushed me whole or back a little bit. So I don't think I need to go back another further one because I've tilted a little bit further back my arms are at probably the end of where I'd want them to be if I go any further back I'd be stretching my arms I don't want to do that so I think just the tilt and that's perfect enough just to kind of get you in a comfortable position and just pull you back a little bit so I think I'm going to do it to the other side as well so the passage is a little bit comfier and we're good to go I've absolutely what the fuck are we going to do with these seats um so we put them back in the car <laughs> what the fuck are we going to do with these seats so I went upstairs to the office I was like I'm just going to bin these seats, and Will was like, whoa, whoa. So he's thinking about getting a Clio, and he's looking at one, and one of them's got a, a fucked up seat. So he was like, put them in the, put them in the, in the storage. I was like, fuck that, mate. It's not worth my effort walking over there. And he's like, oh, just pop them downstairs for now. I was like, ha, you said it. I'll bang us downstairs, and you fucking move mate. Them seats weigh about 30 kilos. But you know what, lads? Sorry, I'm knackered, because I don't know if I told you, but them seats weigh 30 kilos. We're going to treat you. We're going to treat this car. To someone I've never given it. A scratch and shine. Here we are at the scratch and shine, everybody! Woo! <laughs> See, my guy's doing the bat with a brush. Yeah, brush. I will give it to him, though. I'm not going to lie. They jet wash the whole car, do all the wheels. It's actually quite good, to be fair. <laughs> like, I'm actually not even taking a piss. Let's see if I get pissed wet through. If, uh, see if my uh, shit out clear always uh, leak proof. Ah, I can't fucking hear you though! What I think about it, lads, my uh, my bird's ass is definitely not going to fit in these suits. And if it does, she ain't fucking getting out. That's actually the first clean I've ever given this car. And I didn't even fucking give it! I'm intrigued to see how clean it actually looks. Because I actually, it looks quite shiny. These seats are miles better since we've tilted them. Absolutely miles better. It's actually quite habitable now whereas before it was just inhabitable i think guys i'm going to be going home i'm going to edit this video quite quick to get up for you guys i've got to do a few bits and bobs on the laptop drop some clothes and off eeky guys to everyone who's ordered from eeky guy thank you very much wow yeah show and shine one of there lads anyway right oh actually god look at them fucking wheels fucking hell mate who's been driving this fucking car <laughs>